Hey, this is Dr. Nick from the ECG Academy, and we're going to go over the anatomy of the chest because in order to put the ECG electrodes in the proper place, you have to be familiar with the anatomy. I've seen a lot of people put the ECG leads in the wrong place. The electrodes go in the wrong spot, and then it makes the ECG look abnormal when it isn't. So uh, let's go over the anatomy of the chest. On the front of the chest wall, of course, we have the breastbone, which is called the sternum and it connects with the clavicles, which are the collarbones. Now, the sternum has three parts to it. The top flat part, which is a little bit wider, is called the manubrium. The middle part of the sternum is called the body. And at the very tip, there's a small part that juts downwards called the xiphoid process. Now, between the body of the sternum and the manubrium, there forms an angle. It's called the sternal angle. It's a ridge. If you run your finger along the sternum, you can feel this ridge. Now, this ridge, if you, if you follow it to the left and the right, it actually connects with the second rib. And that's important because below the second rib is the second intercostal space. Now, where do the ECG electrodes have to go in? The fourth intercostal space. So find the sternal angle, find the second rib, move down slightly and you feel that little hole there, that's the second intercostal space, and then run over the third rib, the third intercostal space, and the fourth rib, and then the fourth intercostal space. So if you find the fourth intercostal space, that's where V1 and V2 go. Now V1 should go on the right side of the sternum, where the sternum meets the rib, right in that fourth intercostal space, right about here. And V2 needs to go on the left sternal border at that fourth intercostal space, okay? So that's very important. The next place to look for is V4, because V3 is gonna be midway between V2 and V4. V4 is supposed to be in the mid-clavicular line. So find the clavicle, find the middle of the clavicle and run down, and it's supposed to be not in the fourth intercostal space, but the, the fifth intercostal space. So V4 goes right here. Now V3 will wind up going between, halfway between V2 and V4. And then V5, if you follow this space out, go more or less horizontally, the anterior axillary line, which is the furthest to the front of the side of the chest wall, that's where V5 should go, the anterior axillary line. And then V6 goes in the mid axillary line, which is all the way on the side. Don't be afraid to go just underneath the uh, armpit there because that's where it belongs. And if you put your electrodes in this position, your V leads, your precordial leads, will come out looking properly. Now what about the arms? Well, the arms are easy. You want one on each arm. And uh, you'll see some people in the ICU, they'll put their leads on the chest wall, but that's usually not the best place to put it. You should, if you're doing a formal 12 lead, you should put it on the arm. And then the leg electrode should go on the legs um, somewhere down on the calves or the thighs. Uh, depends on what kind of access you have to the patient. And so that's where they belong. And uh, I'm gonna show you some pictures of where not to put them in just a moment.